You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. These are such difficult times for those working in long-term health care, especially skilled nursing facilities or nursing homes as they're known. As much of the country reopens and seems to start returning to somewhat of a routine life, nursing homes are still battling COVID-19 virus. Staff members, especially certified nursing assistants or CNAs, are working long hours and often without resources they so desperately need. We must not forget this fight is still very real and ongoing as so many Americans rush out for their long-awaited haircut or tattoo. I am certain you can sense the anger in my voice and yes, I am angry and I'm heartbroken that we're still losing residents and staff members to this deadly virus, yet the headlines have moved on and now the shame and blame game has gotten started. But not here. There is nothing but love, respect, appreciation, and honor for those continuing to fight on the front lines in the nation's nursing homes. We will not forget. Today's CNA hero is an extraordinary CNA who could have easily been a CNA hero before COVID-19 hit the nursing homes. Maurice Lyndon Dotson, a 51-year-old CNA from Austin, Texas, worked at West Oaks Nursing and Rehab Center for 25 years. Yes, you heard that right. 25 years, a quarter of a century. He worked at that same nursing home longer than some staff members had even been alive. This is true testament to his dedication. Those who knew Maurice said he never sought employment elsewhere because he considered West Oaks a second home and the patients and staff a second family. Maurice was one of those CNAs that every nursing director absolutely loves. A close friend and coworker reported that Maurice would go to every one of his assigned residents at the end of his shift to tell them good night and let them know he was leaving and inquired about any needs they may have had before he left. This was every single night he worked. As COVID-19 began spreading across Austin last month and as patients in the facility where he worked became victims, Maurice weighed risks to his health and not going to work. He told that same friend that his patients were his priority and that he wasn't going to leave his residence. Friends reported that Maurice felt that he would be abandoning family if he didn't continue to go to work. On March 19th, Maurice updated his profile picture on Facebook with the picture frame that so many of us saw that said, I can't stay home, I'm a healthcare worker. Maurice continued to press forward at work, taking care of the most vulnerable and at-risk individuals. On the morning of April 9th, Maurice, the healthy 51-year-old CNA with no underlying health conditions, was feeling so poorly, he called an ambulance to take him to the hospital. He was fighting COVID-19, and he lost his battle April 17th, 2020. Maurice was a kind and gentle soul, a proud and dedicated nursing assistant professional who is admired by residents, their families, his coworkers, and yes, 
even the Metro bus driver who frequently drove him to work. Maurice knew that by continuing to work with the residents he loved, that he would be taking a chance that his dedication and love for those he took care of outweighed the risk and he could not abandon them. So today, we celebrate the beautiful soul and the loving, generous life of Maurice Lyndon Dotson. Maurice, you made the ultimate sacrifice in this raging battle and you will not be forgotten. Everyone, please join me in honoring Maurice Lyndon Dotson, CNA hero. Thank you.